Welcome to the RAM, the Renaissance Art Museum. Here we have many paintings, sculptures, and much more. We have a variety of artists from many places. This museum has many floors and no corners. I am here on floor 7 looking up at the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. They have graciously donated it to our museum. This is not a stolen piece. I am standing next to the famous painting of the Last Supper. This was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. He used perspective, oil paints, and many other techniques to complete this masterpiece. One of the other pieces you can see from anywhere is the wood and copper engravings by Albrecht Durer on the floors. So Mel, what is your favorite part of our museum? Well, I love the young woman in the unicorn, a painting by Raphael Sanzo. It is a mix of fantasy and reality. I also like that we have the real Mona Lisa on floor too. It is a much smaller person than you would think. How about you? I like the peasant festivities by Peter Brugel and the many portraits of many famous people by Hans Holbein the Younger. What can you tell us about the figures and portraits? Peter Brugel was not a peasant, but he did enjoy their works. He painted their dances, meals, weddings, works, and some more. This shows another side of what was happening in the Renaissance, not just the more wealthy people. Hans Holbein is interesting because he painted portraits of people. His paintings were sometimes religious, for example, Christ before Caiaphas, but he also painted portraits of King Henry VIII and Erasmus. Here on floor five, where our many Italian Renaissance paintings and sculptures are located. Mel, do you have a favorite? Oh yes, La Pieta. What about you? Oh, La Pieta. It was created by Michelangelo in 1498 to 1500. It's a sculpture of the Virgin Mary holding the body of Christ after the crucifixion, but before he was put in the tomb. It was one of the only famous sculptures with two people in it of the time, and it was not normal for an Italian style. Personally, I love The Feast of the Gods by Giovanni Bellini. It was painted in Venice, 1514. It shows many gods eating and having a good time. It also shows Priapus, a god, being very naughty, and it reminds us that people in the paintings are a lot like us today. I also admire a young man being introduced to the seven liberal arts. This masterpiece was painted by Sandro Botticelli in 1484. It is one of the two paintings about newly, a newly married couple. The young man is meeting the liberal arts, rhetoric, dialects, arithmetic, grammar, geometry, astronomy, and music. Thank you for previewing our museum, and we hope to see you here soon. Rasheen, duh, don't forget about the many sculptures we have on floor four. Rasheen, hello, don't forget about the many sculptures on floor four.